Welcome back to Deponia, where it's our time to save Goal by cleaning her cartridge. We need that duster. I wouldn't take that feather duster. I use it to clean the tanks. Oh, sounds promising enough. If you can clean a tank with it, then it must work twice as well for a measly cartridge. I know what I'm doing. And a key. Hey, you've stolen my key. And you have kidnapped my girlfriend. Oh, she was not kidnapped. And I can put her back out into the cold if you prefer. And how are you going to do that all without a key? Not a problem. My door is always open. So you shouldn't be wondering when things get stolen around here all the time. <laughs> I can't look at the at the thing here. Can't take the fork. Can look at goal. She doesn't register anything. Too bad. She already slept through the whole mind bike adventure. Pizza for Miss Goal! Eh, it was worth a try. Okay, look at the other stuff. There's still Captain Bozo and the other guy to talk to. Usually I can't stand wise guys, but Doc's a regular cool guy. So, did you clean the contact pins yet? I'm almost done. Hurry up! It's not good for the head if the conscience gets disconnected for too long. <laughs> Don't I know it. <sighs> I hope they know how to party in Elysium. <laughs> That guy claims to be a pirate? I'm not a pirate. And I didn't kidnap anyone either. Hmm. He does lie like one. Well, can I help in any way? <laughs> nice try, but I'm not gonna fall for it. <laughs> I'm not conning you. I... Don't even try, Blackbeard. If I find out you've done anything to the girl... Well, I'd never. Uh, what do you mean? She was like that when I first found her. I thought she could use a doctor. Yo-ho-ho and a bottle of rum, right? What? No. I... I thought so. I suggest a truce. Not because I'm scared of you, but out of consideration for the lady, okay? I don't even have any weapons. Are you calling me a coward? If you want to fight, you just have to say so. What's going on here? Do you even listen to what I say? Huh, I thought as much, you chicken. <laughs> and remember to keep the truce. I... Oh. All right. Truce. Promise. Ha, you'd like that, wouldn't you? But I don't give a damn about the word of a stinking pirate. <laughs> How can you bear to be in this stinking pirate's den? But I've just cleaned it up. Oh, yeah? Well, the rear ends of sea cows smell better than you. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll give it another good mopping later. Ha-ha! <laughs> By Neptune's navel, to the port side! Arr! And don't you get in our way, you hear? You can burn and loot as much as you want later on. But right now, I need some expertise in precision engineering. Well... I've studied precision engineering. I've even had three years of... Yeah, yeah, spare me your stories about your looting expeditions, Mr. Teach. I'm dealing with a problem that can't be solved with brute force here. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Release Doc. But he's booked a passage to the floating black market. Oh, yeah? And your mother has booked for two, I suppose. Hey. Leave my old mother out of this. Whatever this is. Touche, Captain. Touche. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. I'm just sitting here. That's right. That's right. Okay. Okay, we talked a lot to the pirate. And I really like the pirate. He's a nice pirate, but a pirate nonetheless. There. Open. Let's get rid of the key. Idiot. What have we here? A small brush, miniature bellows, a sealed pack of hand wipes. What <laughs> useless junk. I want to clean a cartridge, not refurbish a doll's house. Ah, yes. This looks much better. A steel brush, 
and a bottle of degreaser. I'll uh, leave the girly stuff. <laughs> Did you see the squirrel in the background right uh, with the bike and jump this uh, this gap in like this E.T. Uh, flies home with a bike fashion? That was interesting. Okay. We want to clean. Not the backup cartridge, the cartridge. Okay, we have a duster, a steel brush and degreaser. The contact pins are dusty, so we're gonna use the duster. Oh, blech. the duster has dusted everything with dust and oh, oh no, grease spot. I'll have to give it the once over. Okay, now this one's dusty, this one's dusty, this one's greasy. So it's supposed to be like this. Another grease spot. Okay, these are dusty and greasy. Then use the degreaser. Whoa. What a mess. Blah, no good. These are now dusty and corroded. And the corrosion can be brush on goals consciousness chip? Only if I absolutely can't avoid it. Okay, only in dusty only and corroded. Um okay, these are dusty and corroded. This is just corroded. <laughs> no! I already raised enough dust with this. These are dusty. Dusty, greasy, and corroded. Dusty and corroded. Dusty and corroded. Blah, no good. Oh no, this is beyond help. <laughs> good thing I still have an ace up my sleeve. Okay, and now all are dusty, greasy, and corroded. Perfect for the steel brush. Rufus and Goal with a heart. Ta-da! Ta-da! Good as new! And those scratches could have come from anywhere. Idiot. So, did you clean the contact pins yet? Yep, all clean and shiny. Very good. Show me. Just a minute. Did this have those scratches before? What? Oh, those. I noticed them before. Inconceivable how those young ladies treat their brain implants these days, isn't it? Yes. And they don't even have to eject them from their drives either. Inconceivable. Well, a couple of scratches. They can't be too grave, can they? Talking about grave, has someone engraved his name and a little heart on there? Um, you better give that back. It'll work just fine. Well, it has to. You're killing her, Rufus. Are you stupid? Cletus? Is that you? No. Give me a second. You are Rolfie. Rufus. I recognize you. There was that big hole. And then I remember a hospital ward. There were other people too. Deponians! So it is true. Deponia is inhabited. The Organon lied to us. I have to contact Cletus. Well, uh, that's almost a good idea. <laughs> Just almost, unfortunately. Your oh-so-wonderful fiancé is in cahoots with the Organon. Cletus is... what? Ah, uh, my head. Maybe you should sit down first. But I'm already sitting. Don't worry, baby. I'll explain everything. I saved you. I can hardly remember anything. Not even how I saved you from the clutches of the Organon? There was this conveyor belt, and hey, you were there too. You were operating those levers. Or how I nursed you back to health. I, I remember a, a stinging taste on my tongue. And how I carried you halfway around the planet. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a crane? Well, obviously, you don't remember anything. Be that as it may, you can thank me later. Your implant was malfunctioning. Your fall from the Organon cruiser damaged it. The Organons pushed me off the cruiser? Well, yes. Thank junk, I could fix everything. Actually, it was me who supervised the repairs. Yeah, of course you did, Gramps. <laughs> Everyone wants a slice of acknowledgement. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right again. Exactly. Cletus 
is a traitor. He's collaborating with the Organon. Of course he is. The Organon is our escort on our reconnaissance mission. Yes, uh, of course, but somehow Ulysses has convinced him to falsify his report. He'll advise the Council of the Elders to blow up Deponia. Despite the planet being inhabited, the monster. Exactly. The Organon wants to destroy Deponia. I know that. That's why Cletus and I came here, to see if Deponia was really uninhabited. But people do live here, and Ulysses wants to hide the fact, so that he can blow up Deponia anyway. We must stop him at all costs. Uh, I agree. You've been kidnapped by a pirate. <laughs> How often do I have to repeat myself? I'm a garbage dealer. I just wanted to help. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. He won't hurt you. Of course I won't. Why would I do that? You see? I'm protecting you. Enough talking. We have to prevent the Organon from destroying Deponia. It'd be best if you took me along to Elysium. Then we could tell your people the truth, and everything will be fine, right? Right. Uh, for real? You're taking me along? To Elysium? Why wouldn't I? All we need is a perfect plan. Huh. <laughs> Hey, you're talking to the right man. Perfect plans are my specialty. Oh, okay, God. shoot. We should set a trap for Argus. Preferably, we'll dig a pit first, and then we'll camouflage it with some mud, and then we'll sound the alarm. And while you sit on the adjacent hill, dressed as a giraffe... Wouldn't it be easier to pass you off as Cletus? You bear a striking resemblance to him. Well, I don't know. My body is much better toned. We'll overpower him and go back to Elysium together. Oh, that could work. It's a good thing I thought of that. And what about us? Oh, you. Don't worry. When Elysium is informed that there's still life on Deponia, they'll call the demolition off. Yeah, and we'll be on Elysium. We'd be heroes. And everybody will be happy. Exactly. Well, what are we waiting for? That's not a good plan. Uh, More planning. All right. <laughs> Never better. I have never been better. Never been better. Never been better. Never been better. Better. Thanks for everything, Rufus. Ah, oh, not a problem. But we're not in Elysium yet. Let's hurry, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do. Yeah, uh, we had that. Object. That's right. Okay, there's nothing more to say. Um, so I assume we'll get back to Doc and Captain Bozo in another game. As I assume this game is closing off. Uh, into the cable chute. She's leading the way. Uh, you doing all Never be I have ne ne never better things for Ah, oh, not a but we're not Let's hurry. You that's the same every time. Okay. Uh-oh. That's Argus and his officials. Quick, take cover. Again, we are searching for a Deponian male and a tall Elysian female. We found their traces, so we know that they must still be nearby. If you find them, arrest them at once. The Elysian must not be eliminated. The Deponian, on the other hand, may. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, I guess I'm too much of a threat to them. Why? Is he too much of a threat to us? No, don't worry. He's just in our way. Hey. Get to work, men. There must be someone in the compound. Keep an eye on that gate. Don't let them escape. Okay, we need to go past them. They obviously have no idea who they're dealing with. Stay down. I'll show them the meaning of the teeth just in our way. Go get him, tiger. Only two of them? Why, that's almost an insult. Only two of them? What? One step closer. I'd rather spare them. He'd rather spare them the pain, so... Swim through the pool. Yeah, that would really be super, but if I go for it... And I don't have the equipment... You do have the equipment for diving. I hope Gold is watching this. This is something that I'll only do once. Aha. Uh -huh. She wasn't watching. Okay, and we get into the car. Okay, crank. My Go to the left window. Ow. Crank. 
Go to the French Ow. door. Fuck. Go to the left window. Ow! Pawn. I'll save my tell. And maybe with the right window. Oh, there's also a hit exit. Yeah. Oh, and it cannot be top. Ow! What was that? Did you hear that too? Sounded pretty miserable. Yes, it did. Well, I don't think we need to be frightened of an animal that makes sounds like that. It's probably physically challenged. <laughs> Crap. As long as the top is down, I can't make out anything in here. So from here, I can't really... Okay. From the right window. Can we reach the horn I'll from here? Can we use the fork with the I'll horn? My okay. Left window then. Ah! There's also a pipe from the motor. Ow. Use the fork with the horn. Because that's an idea that struck me. What was that? Meow. No, that was not a cat. That was something big. A cow! A cow must be entangled in this pile of junk. So it would seem. Ch stupid animal. Whew. It's a good thing I'm always thinking on my feet. Ow. Uh -huh. What was that? No, forget it. There's nothing there. Where can... Eh? Eh? I'll save my tele... Okay. Finally, I can get over there without it squeaking. Okay, and where do I want the squeaking to be? Uh, do I want to go... Oh, I can't even go back inside. Okay. What do I want to do with the the soft toy? I'll save my tell. Can't even go over there. And for some reason, he just won't go there. Now I hear. Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid, 2017. Okay. Damn critter. What was that? Now forget it. Now I hear. Hello, who's that? You're paranoid. Whew. Damn. Okay, so. Now forget it. There's nothing there. Okay, we want to. Do I throw it at you? They'd make a great trio, but two jokers standing in my way are enough. Okay, so that's awesome. I can't exit there. The organons would. The organons. Okay, the organons would see you. Why don't you always say that? I don't need light. I sort. Hey, maybe this could spot more likely. Huh. So we want this, but somehow differently. I'll save my tele. I'll save my. I can't throw it at you. I I'll can't throw it at that. Oh, or there. First, I'll deal with the orc. Then I'll show go my. Okay. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I'm incredibly stupid. I should be more careful. Who knows if there's a backup? Okay. So. Now I hear it too. Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid, 2017. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this gave me the the uh, I had to off cycle that because one time they do the one thing and the next time they do the other thing. Now we can use the crane lever. <laughs> yeah, and they are totally made out of implants, so they stick through the magnet. Okay, that was easy. half bad. Hey, 
Half bad is my second name, babe. Stop calling me that. Now oh, come on. We need to hurry. Okay. I assume we're on Reyes now to the end. We're putting up our Cletus disguise to go past Argus. He isn't even here. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus, accompanied by my charming fiance, Go. Finally, I was afraid she'd already eloped with that disgusting deponium. What a bizarre thought. Oh, contraire, Buttercup. Don't be afraid to admit that you did cast a covetous eye on that. <laughs> Rufus, very understandable. To me, he seemed like a dashing daredevil. On the contrary, honey bunny. He was nothing more than a self-centered fool. That's enough. You two will have enough time to frolic once we've returned to Elysium. Oh yeah, finally, final, um, fi 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 final preparations for our return have been made. Very well. Now, I need to talk to you in private, Ambassador. Uh, uh of, of course. Why don't you scuttle on ahead, darling? Me and the bailiff have urgent matters to discuss. <laughs> Seemingly. B but... Shoo-shoo, sugar. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> so we'll see each other in a short while, then. Toodaloo. Have you lost your mind completely? I thought we had an agreement. The memories of Ms. Goal must be deleted. And we need the Ascension Codes. Don't panic. I'm working on it. I'll swap the cartridges and uh, leave the original on the platform. Th th that should make everyone happy, right? Yes, everyone except for the Deponians. <laughs> <laughs> if you try anything funny, I'll personally decapitate you with a rusty knife. <laughs> okay, are we on Reyes still? Okay. Problem is, while we are on Reyes, I can't even access the menu. Ah, we're not on Reyes anymore. Uh, do we want to cut episodes now? That's only 22 minutes, no. Okay, so we'll go to the ending then, I suppose. This will be, be an serious. extra long episode, People but the finale. Here, I've seen them with my own eyes. I already told you, Ulysses is right. We can't. Am I interrupting? Rufus, finally, I was about to throw this ignorant idiot from the tower. Don't ask me why I fancied him in the first place. What are you doing, Rufus? I thought we had an agreement. Think again, Cletus. I'll go to Elysium with Gaul. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Please go, tell me that this is a joke. It's not a joke. Rufus will come to Elysium with me. He'll help me to tell everyone the truth about Deponia. <laughs> and you really believe they'll grant someone like him access to Elysium? Why not? Everyone will think it's you. Him? Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. Look at the way he dresses. Disgusting. Do I have to get angry first? Are you threatening me? Listen, bub, I've got the third ascat in the art of Shwekhuru. Yeah, just like I do. Oh yeah, what's your dojo? Uh, five? Five? I mean, uh, yellow. Fire? Capricorn? Lassala? Damn. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you. Besides, that doesn't sound... I think he does quite a good imp... Huh. Be that as it may, this one man flip... Look at the way he dressed. Disgusting. Give it up, Cletus. What's this? You're unleashing your lice upon me. Don't make me laugh. You two go ahead and sort it out between you. But... Rufus? <laughs> and you're planning to elope to Elysium with a wimp like that? Don't make me laugh. Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Maybe his feet are twice the size. At least Rufus knows how to treat a woman well. Oh, you what mean right after here? his bludgeon a second with disguise. a club? Let's see who's the better Cletus. Rufus has more in his head than you have. 
Cletus yes, Rex. Yes, I'm well, sure you could feed three horses with it. Almost as good as my handmade disguise. Ha <laughs> ha! The inventory in these rags is ridiculously small. You can't even fit a bucket and mop in there, let alone a parrot and two cats. <laughs> I'll put my stuff here for now. You can't even hold a candle to Rufus. Enlightenment is not his strong suit. All right, that's enough. Rufus is twice the man you are, hands <laughs> down. So this is the wimp you want to replace me with? Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. <laughs> Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. He can try and put on my clothes all he wants and infest them with bugs. There is still one thing where I'm completely different. Oh, my. Your sagging butt cheeks? <laughs> My birthmark, you dumbass. Yeah, what are you doing? Ouch! <laughs> no, don't! Underpants to flagpole. Wow. Ha. Classic prank. <laughs> yeah! We did it! We really did it! Towards Elysium! Not so fast, buddy. What was the agreement that Cletus was talking about? What? Oh, that. Forget it. That's all toxic waste under the bridge. Let's go. To Elysium! Wait a minute. That's it, right? You don't even care about what happens to Deponia. You just want I to do get care. to Elysium, whatever the but cost. But Rufus doesn't. He? No! What a change of attitude. He sounded quite different earlier. Deponia stinks. Only idiots live here. If it were up to me, they could blow the whole place sky high. Yada, yada, yada. You keep out of this. Don't believe a word he's saying, Gole. He just wants to drive us apart. But how do I know I can trust you? Trust this rat. Don't make me laugh. Gole, he hates Deponia. He's an egomaniac, a thief, and a traitor. Just go through his things. I'm pretty sure you'll find a backup card. Just in case you realize what he's up to. He wouldn't do that. Well, go ahead. Have a look. Gull, don't. Yeah, there's a backup cartridge. Gull, listen, you don't understand. I think I understand very well. You know, Rufus, I really thought you were something special. But I am something special. I know you think that, but you're nothing but an egotistical scoundrel. You don't only resemble Cletus on the outside. Come over here. I want to take a good look at you before I return to Elysium alone, so I can remember what kind of a face not to fall for yet a third time. <laughs> oh, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Bother! What next? Argus! About time, too! Get me down from here! Why should I? From the start, you've been jeopardizing our plans, Cletus. Rufus, on the other hand... You can't be serious! You're not saying you trust this lying rat more than me! Why not? He is indeed a lying rat. Hey. But that's what makes him the perfect man for the job. He'll be celebrated as a hero in Elysium. And he'll get the girl. He'll get everything he ever dreamed of. Do you really think he'd risk all that just to save his home that he loathes so much? He's not man enough to do that. Once Gold sees his true self, he'll lose everything <coughs> he tried to achieve. He'll never take that risk. Congratulations, Rufus. You did it. Just insert the backup cartridge and you can leave. Elysium awaits you. No. Insert the right cartridge, not the wrong one. Do you want me to roll for a while? No, no. Don't worry. I know that you need to go easy on your back. And once we're back on Elysium, I'll give you a nice back rub. Okay? I guess so. Come no. on, don't make such a gloomy face. In a way, it's a good thing that our inspection was without results. Although, I can't remember everything. Or was there something else? Um. Come on, how about a bit more enthusiasm towards Elysium and all that? Yes? No? Um. What's wrong? Is there something you'd like to tell me? Aren't you happy to be going back to Elysium? 
I am. It's just the... Well then, towards Elysium, right? Say goal. Yes. Um... Well, it's like this. I'm all ears. Well... What are you stammering about? Spit it out. It's... You're beginning to scare me. What's wrong with you? All right, then. I'm going to tell you now, but you have to promise not to get mad. Why, Cletus? Why would I get mad at you? Calm down. Relax. Relax. Some con man erases my memory, poses as my fiancé, and almost gets me involved in a genocide, and I'm supposed to relax. I, I told you about it, didn't I? I mean, I'm the, I'm the good guy. You'll be the dead guy if you don't return my old memories. But that'd be suicide. Believe me, buddy, not doing it would be suicide. Okay, okay. And now remove... This fragment of pseudo-personality from my brain. And don't even think about inserting it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Ungrateful... Ooh. Fortunately, the goal on the other cartridge likes me a bit more. Ugh! Lace un... <laughs> hey, Cletus. Stop ogling like that! Okay, I assume we have to go to Argus. And get the other cartridge. This has to go faster. We need those codes. Yes, Bonif. You do know what's at stake. If Ulysses had had his way, we'd all perish here on Deponia. Yes, Bailiff. Any problems here? No, Prime Controller, sir. Just a relay that short-circuited. This matter is of no concern now. I want to address the crew before we head on to Portofisco. Immediately. As you wish, Prime Controller. You heard the man. Get moving! Assume we... Oh, okay, he is going. It's now or never. Change cartridges. I'd rather not. Okay. Take cartridge. Put in backup cartridge. No time. They could be back any second. No time. They okay. So you're just going away? God damn it. They won't even see. What are you doing again? You had that once before. Hello. Surprised, are we? I bet you thought you finally made it, huh? Lady Luck loves the righteous, so on and so forth, right? Well, think again, buddy. It's almost ironic. For once in your life, you decide to do the right thing, and immediately you lose everything. <laughs> your dream turns into a nightmare. The love of your life is lost, and your home planet gone. <laughs> I would really love to pity you now, but the cable boat is ready, and the ascension codes have been entered. I don't want to let Elysium wait for me any longer. After all, they're expecting a report from me. I could have left already, by the way, but how shall I put it? My back is troubling me. I don't want to do all the rowing by myself. So, hand over the cartridge. Now, Gold's memories about your failed attempt to mess with my plans should still be stored in her short-term memory. I can delete that in a minute. Hand it to me. Ha! <laughs> you wish. Okay. What is going on here? The Organon. Always on time, always reliable. I guess I owe you an apology. That rat didn't swallow your cheese, Bailiff. But I'm not an unforgiving person. Once Rufus hands over the cartridge, we'll be able to carry out our scheme as planned. Now more than ever. You heard him, Rufus. Give him the cartridge now. 
Come on, Rufus. Be reasonable. I will return to Elysium no matter what. You can't change that. But if you hand over the data, you'll at least have a chance at saving gold. So, what do you say? Do we have an agreement? Never. Well, I guess I'll have to row myself then. Too bad. But I should have known that your pride is more important to you than Gull's life. <laughs> I bet you already figured out a nice lie to tell her when she wakes up, and then realizes that you've brought her a front row seat for Armageddon. Ah, uh, wait a minute. No, no, don't waste my time. Give me the cartridge or don't. Okay. okay you win. I assume Here's we give card. him the wrong one. <laughs> How unusually reasonable of you. <laughs> and I bet the girl would be thankful too. Unfortunately, she will never know that you even existed. My, my, my. Deponio will make such a great display of fireworks for our wedding. <laughs> I hate that guy. Cletus? What? What happened? Um, a lot. Uh, uh, can't you remember anything at all? Of course I can remember. I... I... Um... We two were on board an Organon cruiser. We wanted to inspect Deponia, right? We're on Deponia now. Our mission is over. Did I fall asleep? There, there was an accident. You fell from the cruiser. That's why you can't remember anything. But take a look around. Deponia really is deserted. Unbelievable. Nothing but junk. Yes, just junk. Nothing else. Come, let's go home to Elysium. We have to prepare our wedding. Yes, let's go. Okay. Well, that's that, I guess. I'll be on my way, too. The way home to Kuvak is long, and I need to prepare for the apocalypse. Not so fast, Sonny. You didn't think we'd let you leave just like that. You know too much. Also, I believe you have something that belongs to us. Oh yes, the cartridge. Hmm. Give it to me. What is it? What are you waiting for? Oops. No! <laughs> So long, suckers! What? No! Get that traitor! Shoot him! Well, my friend, did you lose something? The cartridge! Uh, bravo, Prime Controller, sir! The Organon? And Argus? Give Ulysses. up, little man. Damn, he's too far away. See you later. No, stop! Haha. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. Ah, you damn fool, let go! Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Ah, we landed in the needle stack. Huh. Back so soon? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty impressive fall. And you managed to land in the pile of needles. Never seen anything like it. You have my respect. <laughs> Everything all right, kid? You seem a bit stressed out. I broke my back, I got a needle in my eye, I just lost the life of my life to dance, I missed my ride to Elysium, and I lost the shoe. All of that. Ah, he gives a th some thumbs up. I was wondering about whether uh, which one of those was the right one to, to pick. So we have the cartridge now, don't we? Or did we get the bad ending? There. The course is set. Next stop, the floating black market. Good. Great. Fine. Are you alright, Rufus? 
You sound all tuckered out. You didn't finish telling me what happened up there on the tower. I don't want to be nosy, but... Uh, is Deponia safe? That's out of my hands now. Ah, he has to be back up. Okay, and he gave her the right one. Yeah, the chorus guys rule. The end. <sighs> I like that jingle. Question mark. Okay. That was uh, Deponia. Uh, what should I tell? Uh, it's an adventure game. It's a quite well done adventure game I've played far worse um, it's a bit over top uh, over the top with the conversations and this uh, this first one the oldest one was a bit buggy too I hope that when I come around to playing the later ones uh, they'll be less buggy but uh, you have to take what you get um, story was good Humor was good. I liked it. I liked it. Music was good. Um, didn't like all the the audio issues that I have uh, had have had with this game, but uh, something I had to live with. Um, yeah, I like this game, and I think I'm gonna play the other three. Maybe, maybe, maybe I play the second one and it's garbage and I don't like it and then I'll stop with the with the uh, series but I'll at least play the second one uh, someday trademark so someday could be next year or in two years or something I'll get around to it I hope um, tomorrow we are going to play Metroidvania again uh, so we're going to Death's Gambit, which is another one of those Souls-like inspired Metroidvanias. I hope I like it. And we'll see us then. And now it's time to leave you alone with the credits. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow.